makes it easier, easier to bear. You won't be ready no more. You won't get it. Look how packed my car is. I've got the, these cardboard things, the displays, um, so they're there for work. So basically, I shouldn't be driving. I shouldn't be driving. I, I shouldn't be talking to you and driving. So I'll, I'll talk to you when we get there. Um, I haven't even seen the flat yet. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like at the same time I'm actually discovering it for myself. Um, yeah. So I hope it's nice. Okay, guys, so we've moved in. Um, all the stuff is unpacked. There's still a few things we need to get, like uh, a TV, TV stand, dining room table, um, curtains, curtain rails. So it's a bit bare still, but most of it's in. So I'm going to quickly show you around. So first we have the kitchen with Hattie. Hello. Hattie's parents just got, took out for a meal um, and they just left, so it's the first time we're on our own in the Big Brother house. Okay, so that's... So that's the front door, you come into there, the kitchen. And then this next one is the living room. As you can see, it's quite bare at the moment. Um, we've got a sofa. We're gonna get a rug for that. Gonna put the TV there, get some curtains, of course. And then there's a dining room table that folds out from uh, my granddad. And yeah, so that still needs some work. Um, and I'm actually going home midweek to get a lot of this stuff. The bathroom. This is um, a lot bigger for the money we're paying than we were looking at because we're looking at our budget kind of like six hundred pounds a month because um, you don't want to go too crazy because you know want to save money for more important things. Um, but yeah, this is five hundred twenty pounds a month because we were looking at things like five fifty, weren't we? Like up to six hundred pounds, um, and they were a bit newer, but there was a lot less space. Um, and there's, there's just like loads of random charges. Um, so this, I don't know, I think we looked about 10 properties probably in general, maybe a bit less, but we looked at quite a few. I think we, there were a few frustrating times because we just want, there were a few we wanted and then they went, but I think we've done really well here. So this is the bedroom here, um, relatively big bedroom. Uh, we're gonna be sleeping on the floor today because we haven't actually got a bed, a bed frame. Um, We've got some cardboard boxes up for the for the curtains, so we'll probably wake up really early just because of the light. Um, we've got Hattie's parents were kind enough to give us all this stuff to put put random shit in, and then we're going to put a study because it was technically a two bedroom, but obviously we don't need two bedrooms unless we have a massive falling out. <laughs> um, no, we'll have one bedroom. Becoming more and more likely. Hey, um, and then this is kind of going to be a study, so. Uh, we're going to put a glass table here, um, obviously get some curtains like like all the other rooms and to turn this into a study and then maybe have like a sofa bed or a blow-up mattress for when people stay. Because I think we've got a friend, when we when we got, oh is it Alex coming tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, so we've got one of Hattie's friends that's going to come tomorrow so he'll sleep in there. Um, and then storage here. So that's kind of like my work stuff, um, we'll put jackets up here. But apart from that... <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but apart from that, yeah, that's it. So I'll probably give you another update when it's actually properly moved in. Like all our stuff's done bags. We need to get hang hanging uh, a cupboard sort of things. But yeah, very happy. This is actually the first time I've seen it, like I said. And it's on like, quite a nice estate. Um, end of the road, it's really quiet. Um, quite a lot of families, so it's a little younger kids. So it's just, you know, they go to school in the day. Parents work, it's not like near some, you know, you know, people that don't work or just that will be just loitering, um, if you know what I mean. It's just, yeah, quite, very quiet, it's really nice. Um, Off-road parking. Yeah, the first thing I need to do, one of us need to do tomorrow is sort out the internet because, as you know, as I'm sure you both, you know, like, you can't live without internet. So, I'm gonna go to bed soon, it's about just after 10. I'm very tired, Hannah's got to do this today because her PhD doesn't start for another few weeks um, and I've got work so she's going to get some stuff sorted um, but yeah, house door over So, it's our first Friday night um, kind of probably our first, I'm kind of calling this our first night in like together because we had Hattie's friends came one night uh, Hattie's been away, I've been away 
and the first night it was like there's nothing here so we're properly moved in now got a few things left to put in but um, I'm gonna cook us some food so we've got chicken as always and I like a stir fry sort of thing with these noodles and then Hattie's gonna have those because I don't like it and then a stir fry sauce um, so Hattie's gonna have a bath aren't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I am. A bit tired. I'm a little bit. Not that you look it, I'm just saying you look, you're, you're a bit tired. I'm saying I look shit. No. Um, so yeah, I'm going to cut that and then we're going to, because then we've got internet, yeah, we haven't sorted that out, so Hattie's bought some DVDs for us to watch. So, because I've got my laptop, HDMI, my TV. So, let's do that. Hi guys, how's it going? So, um, it is currently Saturday afternoon. Um, as you can see on the title, I've got a half marathon um, in a place called Congleton, which is near Manchester in Derbyshire. So, driving up now, because it's actually where my, uh, my mum comes from, and like my auntie and uncle live there. So, going up tonight, uh, just going to go for a meal, and then the marathon, the half marathon is early in the morning. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to do that. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it, I'm not going to lie, I was quite looking forward to it, like training. Um, but last, probably last afternoon, or y yesterday afternoon, was it? Yeah. I just like, my nose just hasn't stopped running, like, like because of that, I couldn't sleep, uh, breathing out my nose, so my mouth's been open, my lips were dry, like, my eyes have been watering up, so I'm not feeling too good. But, and I've never actually run a half marathon distance, I've run eight miles three times. Um, so, like, I'm not, I don't expect to have a good time, I don't even know what, what is a good time. Um, my dad basically just said to me, do you want to do a half marathon, I'm going to do one. And I said yes. Um, and now I don't want to back out of it because I've said I'm going to do it. So, um, yeah, that's the game plan. So we just arrived at my granddad's old house. Just over there. And you can see my mum there. <laughs> Again in the car and we're just going to go for some food, picking my cousin up because he just lives down the road. Sorry, there's a shirt in there. For, for work on Monday. Um, and... Yeah, I'm not. Where do you know where we're going, Mum? Good morning, guys. Um, so, technically, this is the day of the run. Um, <coughs> Sunday, the 1st of October. Um, but, like I said earlier, I was feeling ill. Um, and, like, my nose has been running all night. Well, for the last two days, just constant which meant my throat has been really dry <coughs> and it just hurts uh, to like cough and I got a really really bad headache um, so um, my parents and everyone and Hattie kept on telling me not to run and I was being like stubborn and determined and then eventually just before I went to bed last night I was like yeah it's probably not a good idea to run because um, Maybe I would be able to do the race and everything, but then I think this next week would just be wiped out um, what it has the potential to be. Because um, um, last uh, April and March uh, and May, I, I had a glandular fever. And basically I was just in bed, being sick, um, just basically very tired, um, constantly had a cold like this. But... Um, a bit worse and although it went away glandular fever can keep on coming back at any time so that was more of the worry that it could come back and I'd be off work next week um, or longer so I really wanted to, to do this uh, marath half marathon and get out of the way so I could go back to weight training because you know that's what I enjoy um, but I think I, it's gonna, I'm going to be pissed off um, and I probably will do another half marathon but I feel bad because my dad's probably doing it now. Um, and, yeah, I kind of feel like I let everyone down and everything because this is what I said I was going to do. I've been training for it. Um, but I think this is a sensible decision. Um, yeah. Just a bit gussing, really, because I came all this way. Hattie came all this way to watch me. Um... And now she's going to go home. <laughs> or she's going to have to leave. Um, she's going with my parents to the race and then she's going to get the train from there. Uh, 
It's a bit of a waste of journey for her. But, you know, it's something I can't control. Uh, I'm not sure what time it is. Maybe it's like 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. Um, so, I'm just going to take it easy today. And I've got work tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, a bit pissed off, really. But that's life.